Assalamu alaikum guys, my name is Siab Khan and you're watching my YouTube channel Siab in Korea. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video today I will talk about Khalifa University UAE scholarships. First I will talk about the scholarship benefits and the required documents and after that I will st apply step by step to this university and I will teach you guys how you guys can apply to this university scholarships. Before I start the video and teach you guys about everything, if you guys haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can receive the latest updates. And if you guys haven't liked this video, please like this video as well. So let's start. First, I will talk about the master scholarship degree program and the admission requirements for a master's degree program. For a master's degree program, you need at least three GPA on the scale of four in your bachelor's degree, and you need a score of 6.5 or a uh, TOEFL IBT score of 91. You need a two recommendation letters, a statement of purpose in admission interview. You will have interview when they select you for the interview. After that, for PhD, you need a 3.25 CGPA in your MS degree and 3 CGPA in your bachelor's degree as well. If you want to apply directly for a PhD degree, it means that if you have bachelor's degree and you want to apply directly for a PhD degree, then you can do as well. But for that, you need a 3.5 CGPA. And other than that, you need 150 GRE score as well. So if you don't have GRE score, you cannot directly apply for a PhD degree. Next is about English language test uh, exemption. Some countries are exempt, like if your native language is English, then you're exempt. And if you did your previous degree in a country where the first language is English, then you can exempt, but you have still you have to submit at least six 0.0 score or 79 score and TOEFL IBT. After that, there are some guidelines about the statement of purpose as well. Here they are talking that you should introduce yourself and your interest and motivations and the reasons and like uh, what you will gain during your studies. So you have to cover all these points in your statement of purpose. You can mention other things as well, but the main things are these. You should target these things. Research statement guidelines, they are talking about your research proposal or you can say it's a kind of study plan. So you have to cover these three points they mentioned here. And after that, the GRE exam guidelines, the GRE exam is only mandatory for those who have a bachelor's degree and want to directly apply for a PhD degree. Other applicants are exempt. After that, the application processing fee is 200 Arab Emirate dirhams and you need these documents to apply. You need a certified copy of your bachelor's the equivalency certificate issued by UAE MBC. It, it means that you have to sign your documents from UAE MBC. Official school transcript, English language proficiency certificate, GRE score, uh, you need a curriculum meter, you need statement of purpose, you need your passport picture with your picture with white background and you need a copy of family book if you're from UAE and wallet uh, national ID card, you need a statement of purpose and you need research statement. So all these documents are mentioned here. I will give the link of this website so you can directly access to this page and can read everything by yourself as well. When we will scroll little uh, up in this page, we can see start your application here. We will click on date and after that, there are two options, create your account or login. So we don't have an account, so first we will create an account. For creation an account, you need to enter your first name and then your middle name, your last name, your email address, your date of birth, your nationality, and your country of residence. If you are currently living other than your home country, then mention the country where you are currently living. 
and after that you have to enter your passport number and then you have to click on submit after you click on submit they will send you an email a confirmation email you, there will be a link you have to click on link and then you have to confirm your registration after confirming your registration we will proceed to the same page and then directly we will log in to this portal first here you have to enter your email address and then a temporary password their temporary password they already sent you on your email so you have to enter the temporary password and after that you have to enter your date of birth after that you have to click on login and here you have to select your new password and then you have to retype your new password again in the down section after retyping your password you have to click on save password you can see here that i applied in 2023 so my application is still there but i didn't submit it and this page here we have to click on start new application and then we have to create application after clicking on create application there are some guidelines you have to read it and the deadlines they are showing you that the deadline is to march 2026 and after that you have to check the introduction part as well so when we move to the introduction part by clicking on continue there are some questions you have to answer it how did you hear about us so you can click on others and after that you have to write my name and my youtube name like see i've been korea youtube and after that key affiliation have you previously applied to khalifa university postgraduate admission if you ever applied before then you have to click on yes if you never applied then you have to click on no have you been a student at khalifa university if you previously studied in khalifa university then you have to click yes otherwise no have you been a staff at khalifa university if you ever serve in khalifa university and then outreach such have you participated in any khalifa university outreach program like maybe any online program and then the next section is about your social media like your linkedin and your google scholar profile and your research gate profile if you have that you can enter that but it's optional i don't have so i will skip it after that the next section is about your biographical information like your gender your father nationality your native language your country of birth and current residence address if you're living in uh, uae you can write united arab emirates but if you're living outside or you're living in your country you have to mention that for example i'm living in pakistan and after that you have to choose your street address for example abc street xyz city and then you have to mention the city name and then you have to choose the region as well for example you are from Sindh, Balochistan and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and then Punjab or Islamabad which region you belongs to after that you have to write your postal code and after writing your postal code you have to write your passport type which passport type do you have so like, like for example your passport is diplomatic or your personal passport so it's not diplomatic passport it's normal passport so you have to choose ordinary or regular passport after that you have to write your passport number in the passport place of issue in the passport issue date in the passport expiry date and after that are you a uae resident if you are a uae citizen then you have to choose yes but i'm not a uae citizen so i will choose no and after that your health information do you have any health medical conditions if you have any health or medical problems you have to mention it if you don't have then you have to choose no next question is if you ever served in minutely then you have to choose yes otherwise no and then you have to click on continue next section is about contact information your email address your phone number along with the country code your mobile number and your residence phone number residence phone number is optional you can skip that section as well and program applying for you applying for a phd program or master program you have to choose it and after that you have to apply, choose the intended program for example i choose msc and medical physics and after the question is about your program like if your program suddenly disappear or transfer to another program then would you like to transfer to that program or not so if you want to transfer your program to another one 
uh, according to the university choice then you have to choose yes otherwise no after that you have to write your statement of purpose in the next section and do you have any publication if you have any you have to choose yes and after that you have to uh, write the information after that here you have to enter your university information and you can add more information as well about your school and the next section is about the test scores about your IELTS and GRE score do you have a GRE score if you, you have then you have to choose yes if you don't have then choose no if you already book a test and in the upcoming days you have you have a test then you have to click booked and after that you have to enter your IELTS score in the next section your language score if you have IELTS academic if you have TOEFL if you have any other test you have to enter it here after that you have to write the test date as well this date is mentioned on your IELTS score certificate and after that you have to click on continue next section is about work experience if you have work any work experience you have to mention in the next section I don't have any work experience so I will skip this section and are you currently employed if you are working anywhere then you have to choose yes and if you are not working currently then you have to choose no we will move to the next section next section is about scholarship you have to choose the type of scholarship you are planning to apply if you have an external scholarship you have to choose external scholarship but I am planning to apply for Khalifa University Scholarship, so I will choose KU Scholarship and after that you have to choose the KU Master Scholarship. And did you read the information about the Master Scholarship? You can read the information as well. And do you have sufficient financial resources to, to support your studies? So you have to choose no because we don't have. That's why we want fully funded scholarship from the university. If you have some amount, then you can choose yes because you have after that they will give you like half scholarship or we can say partial scholarship after that you have to choose about the housing as well would you require university accommodation if you want to live in university hostel you have to choose yes otherwise no after that you have to uh, mention two referees here it means they they should be your previous professors from your previous university you have to enter the information of two referees and the referees will receive an email about your application and they will have to submit online recommendation for you so you need two professors email address and their contact details after that the next section is about the documents here you have to upload all your documents you need a wallet passport to upload a passport picture and then you need a wide background picture of yourself and it should be passport size after that you need a bachelor's degree because i'm applying for a master's degree so you i need a bachelor's degree but if you're applying for, for a phd degree then you have to upload your bachelor's degree as well as your master's degree if you don't have your degree you can apply with a hope certificate as well and after that you have to upload your resume or your cv and after that you have to apply your english proficiency test score in this section next section is the final section and this is confirmation of your application after that you have to click on review and after that you can see your application status it's a little bit review about the scholarship benefits as well for a master's degree they will provide you a full or partial tuition fee coverage they will give you monthly stipend, they will give you free textbook, free accommodation, medical insurance, visa processing support and travel assistance, support for participation in conferences subjected to fund, and international research internship subject to funding, teaching experience and career development. It means that you can work as a teacher assistant as well in the university. Thank you guys for watching my video. Until last, I will be making such kind of videos for you guys. If you guys haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can receive the latest updates. Thank you. See you in next video.